All right, so we are back. So our live, our last video um, today is going to be going over clippering your dog. Um, we don't recommend doing a lot of this at home, um, but you know, desperate times. And uh, so we're gonna go over if you need to, what you can do to uh, shorten some of that coat on your dogs. All right, so we got Helen back here with Wally. So I'm gonna show you the easy, safe way, not the professional way, but an easier, safer way to do this at home. So if you went and bought clippers and you have guards or you have human clippers that have guards, use a guard, highly recommend. Um, it's, it's much safer than, than just taking a blade. Um, you're less likely to cut. Um, but with a short guard with matting, you can still cut. The mat can get caught up and it can pull the skin through. So be careful. Um, so probably if you have mats, the best thing to do is just skip them yeah so yeah if most of your dog just just sort of a few mats here or there that you can't get through just leave them we're not going for looks here we're going for maintenance we're going for if it's getting too hot outside and they're uncomfortable this is what we're going for just the comfort of the dog okay so let me get over to your side so i like to start i always start at the at the back of the head and i just work my way down He got a nice, good bath. So this is what light. you want to do at the end. Yes. So you want to bathe and blow dry first, and then you want to cut because this these clippers will not go through dirty hair. I mean, they will, but it's it's not going to be pretty. You're going to dull your blades, um, and it's, it actually is a little bit more dangerous. So you want to you want to do clean hair. So you're going with the hair. With people, I know with clippers you go against, but with dogs you're going to go with. And you're just going to, luckily Wally's tolerating it pretty well right now. Um, so you're just going to do smooth strokes. A lot of dogs, sometimes actually this will happen. I don't know if this has happened to you guys, but... Hair can, if, there, if your dog has a lot of hair, it can get caught up and make the clippers not work well. So once in a while, you might have to stop, get the hair out, and then start again. That's a pretty common thing. There we go. And it's just that simple, unless they're matted. So if he was matted, which I thought he was, but actually he ended up blowing out pretty nicely after his bath. Um, if he was matted in anywhere, if the clippers were getting stuck anywhere, um, I would just leave it. Well, I would have you guys leave it. Um, and just wait. Wait till you see me. Or any one of our lovely ladies who work here. So any um, tips on like the legs and stuff? So the legs are is actually a very common thing um, for dogs to not like their front legs down, especially those with long legs. Like, a lot of doodles don't like it. Um, Wally here hates it. He, he, he's a miniature schnauzer. Um, he, I don't know why, he's just, he's always been very sensitive about his front legs. And, you know, I always tell people, like, you know, for tips at home, try to touch their legs as much as possible, touch their feet. But at the end of the day, some dogs just don't adjust. So then I have to adjust, which is fine. Um, so I will pick up this foot while he's standing. I'm going to go down this leg. Because picking up this foot makes it more difficult for him to lift up this foot. He's doing very good. Probably all those CBD cookies I gave you. See, as you can see, the CBD cookies don't knock them out. It doesn't make them high. He's, you know, it just chills them out. As you can see, he's very calm, very relaxed. Um, he's been super good this entire time, and I have to, I have to give the credit to those CBD cookies. Um, I'm a huge advocate for CBD for animals. It's just so much safer and healthier, I believe. Um, so, there we go. Now that I got it, you can lift up the leg. You can put your hand under their armpit. Gently lift it up. It's just flat that he does not like. I'm just very, very lightly going over it. If he started to freak out too much, I would stop. So if your dog hates this so much that they're pulling and screaming, just stop. Don't, don't, um, don't, you don't need to freak them out. Um, and also permanently, 
emotionally scar them for, for us. So if, if they aren't tolerating this, just let it go. If they end up with half a haircut, it is what it is. It's quarantine and no one's going to judge you. And if they do, that's not nice. <laughs> but yeah, so, and then it's just going to be the same thing on the other side going with, with the way the hair um, lays. Uh, I'm, I'm actually shocked that this is going through as smooth as, as it was. He, he was such a hot mess before. That's a miracle sometimes a dog really is. Sometimes you think a dog is super matted and then miraculously they're not. Sometimes that happens. Um, sometimes the opposite happens. Most of the time the opposite <clears throat> happens. But there are those times that after you bathe the dog and, and blow them out, they're fine. It's, it's amazing so to get underneath I'm just taking it all the way down here is, is a, all under here is, is a very sensitive area there can be folds and some dogs have bigger nipples um, so that's actually very dangerous because you can cut the nipples and you don't want to do that either. So especially if you're using a short, a short, a shorter guard or a blade, you're going to want to have a really light touch. And if you're, if you're too nervous or uncomfortable, then don't do it at all. Just, just leave it. It's okay if they have a little And I, I saw a crazy video on Facebook. Uh, boy dogs have nipples. They are not ticks. Yep. Everybody has nipples. Boys and girls. All of them. <laughs> that's just how that works. So if you see them on your on your male dog, don't worry about it. It's normal. <laughs> there was yeah, a so there was a lady who took her dog to the vet and was trying to tear off a nipple, thinking it was a tick. Yeah, I've actually heard of several of those stories, and I witnessed one of them at one at one point. So. All right. So um, areas that maybe people at home should just skip and not do. So. Period. This right here, this flap of skin that you see me pulling on. This is a very sensitive area. This is very easy to cut, just like the webbing of your hand. It's that, it's that sensitive. So if you were to get the webbing of this webbing caught in between, which is very easy to do, you can just you can cut them so bad and it can and it can end up being just a just a, a disaster. So leave that area leave it, long. Or if you're going with the guard, go this way. Just go just go down. Don't go this way because that's that's where you can get it caught. So just go down, you know, go straight down. You don't want to go with it. You want to go against it. You know Same I mean? probably with privates. Um, just leave them? Leave them. Please leave them. It's so dangerous. The only way to get to the privates is by you have to go up. It's hard to see. If you don't know what you're doing and you don't know where those, those folds are, um, you can do some real damage. Us professional groomers, we've been doing this, you know, for years. We've done literally thousands of dogs, so we know, for the most part, where those wrinkles and crevices are. So we know what to avoid. We know how to angle our blades, for the most part, for how how to avoid those. Um, so you you guys at home probably don't. So I would say to avoid a disaster. Just leave it. Just leave it. We don't want to take any chances of hurting anybody. And then what about, let's just talk about the head. Head and face. So, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this head yet. But um, I mean in general. You, yeah, for you guys at home. Um, you can just straight up take, I'm not going to do it because that's not how I want to groom him. But you can take your clippers and you can just, you can buzz it off. Or if you don't want it that short. You might just have to leave it because I don't know if you guys could safely, I'd be worried about you safely trying to trim the head without, because there's all these folds here with the ears that you can cut. I would say leave it or unless you can safely get your fingers here. I'm just going to do that because I know I'm going to take length off this head. Get your fingers and then cut like I showed you on the face in our previous video to the length that you want. Now it's not going to Same look, with the ears? Same with the ears. It's not going to look pretty per se, but it's at least going to take care of. So you feel where the end of that ear is and you put your, you cover that with your finger. So as I go to cut, I'm not going to cut his ear. I'll cut my finger, but you'd much rather cut yourself than your dog. Trust me. So you just put your fingers in the way and just cut the hair off. And it's the same for the sides. You're going to want to Yeah, so there's all 
different, there's all different ways. Just as long as you can figure out a way to get your fingers in that hair and in the way of the scissors, trim away. I don't care. I'll fix it later. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So there's some helpful tips. And if you're going to clip your dog at home, <clears throat> we really don't recommend anything you don't have to do at home to not do and just wait. But if you have to, we want you to have some tips and tools to do things safely. And again, uh, comment below on any, uh, if you have any questions. Uh, we will also be doing um, some videos on Instagram as well because unfortunately these didn't share over. So for uh, anyone uh, over there, we'll be doing some uh, videos also and uh, you can uh, check those out. And Wednesday we'll have Francis here. We'll do some uh, stuff on a short hair dog. All right, you guys, we'll see you later.